high. So this is a problem in which we are provided with one, two, three, and four figures. There is a logic which is followed in first three figures. And based on the same logic, we have to fill this empty space or the space where this question mark is there. So now let's first find the logic. Here we have a circle and we have three spokes coming out of it. And at the end of each, we have a number which is three. So if we add all these three, three plus three will give us six and six plus three gives us nine, right? Or three, the number over here, multiplied by the number of spokes. How many spokes we have? One, two, and three. So three multiplied by three gives us nine, right? So this is the logic. The first figure is following. In the second figure, again, we have a circle in the center and we have four spokes coming out of that circle. And at the end of each spoke, we have a number which is 15. And we have four 15s. And if we add all these 15s, let's see what we get. 15 plus 15 is 30, right? 30 plus 15, 5 plus 0, 5, and 3 plus 1, 4, right? And since till now we have added 1, 2, and 3 15s, so we have to add one more. 5 plus 5, 10, 0 written over here, 1 carried forward, 1 plus 4, 5, plus 1, 6. So if we add 4 15s, we are going to get 60, isn't it? So the 60 is also coming by following the same logic, right? And in the next picture, we have a circle again, and then we have six spokes, right? And at the end of each line or each spoke, we have four, right? One four over here, one four over here, so we have six fours, isn't it? Yes. So now let's see if we get 24, which is written in the center inside a circle by adding all these fours. So we'll do that. By the way, do you know the table of four? Yes. Okay, how many fours are there? Six. So four six are 24. What is multiplication? Multiplication is repetitive addition, right? But never mind, for the kids who don't know multiplication, I'll add for them. So we have to add 1, 2, 2 we are adding here. So 4 plus 4, 8. Then we have to add one more 4. 8 plus 4, yes, 12. So we have added 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, I'm adding one more 4, which is the fourth 4. So 2 plus 4, 6. And 1. So if we add 4 4s, we are getting 16. Let's add one more. 16 plus 4. This is the fifth one, right? 6 plus 4, 10. 1 carried forward. 1 plus 1, 2. Right? And we have to add how many fours? We have to add one, two, three, four, five, and six. Till now we have added only five. So we have to add one more, right? And 20 plus four will give us zero plus four, four, two as it is. So 20 plus four gives us, yes, 24. So yes, we have got this number again. Right. So the number written in the center inside the circle is actually the sum of all the numbers written at the end of spokes or end of lines. Right. So this is the logic which we have derived. We have checked all three figures. So now apply the same logic on the fourth figure also. And let's check what we get. So how many twos are there? 
So we have to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 twos. Right? So now let me start from here. So 2 plus 2 is 4. This is first. This is second. Add one more 2 which will be the third 2. 4 plus 2 6. Add one more 2 which is the fourth 2. 6 plus 2 8. Right? Add one more 2 which will be the fifth one. 8 plus 2. Yes. 10. And then you add one more 2 which is the sixth one. 10 plus 2 or 0 plus 2, 2. 1 will be written as it is. So we have got 12. Right? 12 we have got by adding 6 twos. So now let's add our seventh 2. So 12 plus 2 which is the seventh one. So 2 plus 2, 4. 1 as it is. And now we have to add our 8th 2. So 14 plus 2 is 4 plus 2, 6. And 1 as it is. Right? So 14 plus 2 is 16. So what should be the number written in the center? Yes, it should be 16. Because the number written in the center is sum of all the numbers written at the end of these lines or spokes, right? So that is a logic which we concluded from first three figures and applied the same logic in the fourth figure and now we have found the answer, right? Yes.